swarm of bees built a nest inside the walls of their garage. Unfortunately, this afternoon, those bees decided to attack their dog. Neighbors, police, and firefighters did rush to the rescue, but this story does not have a happy ending. Every life matters. Um, you know, we take as much interest in, in the pets. Pets are part of family. And we treat them that way. So that's why plantation police and firefighters rushed to this house. Someone called 911 saying her neighbor's dog was swarmed by bees. Another neighbor, Stan Sileski, saw the bee attack from his home. How did the dog look? Look pretty bad. Look pretty sad. The dog's owner tried to control the swarm, but she ended up getting stung too. A plantation police officer also got stung multiple times once he arrived. They were just swatting and swatting and swatting them away. So he was being attacked too. Oh yeah, yeah, he, he was in bad shape. As you've seen this video provided by Plantation Fire Rescue, crews started spraying the dog and the dog owner's home with foam. The foam got the bees off the dog and killed all the bees in the hive. Firefighters then carried the dog to a police cruiser and the officer took the dog to a vet. Unfortunately, the dog, the two-year-old American foxhound named Baby Dow, had to be put to sleep. Her owner, Ted the Gazelle, was at home when Baby Doll and his wife were attacked. He's just relieved his children weren't attacked too. I'm just grateful that uh, that wasn't one of my kids because the dog was 60 pounds and my son's 25 pounds and I'm sure that that the, the dog didn't survive so I'm sure my kids wouldn't know so I don't know why I feel like the dog saved my children's life. So he's grateful his children are okay and grateful for all the help uh, from firefighters and police but of course still very much saddened by the loss of his dog. Reporting live in Plantation, Kevin Ozebeck, 7 News. Also here on 7, Safer Schools, that's the focus of the Miami-Dade County Superintendent who